How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Bilsa. I'm your host, Friggin' Bilsa. Well, no joining today, peoples. Frig, no, there's not. I, uh, I'm just sitting back here. I open the trailer up. It's like a sauna outside today. My balls feel like they're down on my kneecaps. It's the way it is. Summer times here. Friggin' right. It's about friggin' time. But I was out in the yard having to sniff around, see what's really going on. Just so you know, there's not much going on. I got some roses just going out of control over here. What happened? Oh, hey, you got roses and all different kinds of little doodads hanging off this tree. I mean, I got some kids over in a Honda. Come on, camera. Me. Why are you so slow at focusing lately? So I got some kids over in a Honda there in the parking lot to no damn good. Why would they be? How dirty are you? But why I came out here was to shut the water off in the pool. Because like I said, I got a little short little leakage and I wanted to fill her back up. I do, but we'll shut that off and we'll have a look. Fucking <clears throat> birds are shitting in the goddamn pool left and right. And I don't want to swim in the thing with shit in it. Frig, holy, it's full now. Captain, look at all the stuff in the bottom of this pool. I'm glad I don't have a bigger pool because I tell you right now, I wouldn't want to maintain a bigger pool. Frig, no I wouldn't. But we have another week of work, actually four more days of work, and then I might take a couple days off. Canada Day's next Wednesday. So we'll have to see if we get something exciting for you there and do something else. I know there's been a lot of car videos. I apologize. Well, I don't apologize. I know there's been a lot of car videos. Hope you enjoy them. I have a friend's request playlist now. I have a request from a friend or something like that that they want me to do a little video. I'll put it in that playlist, eh? So make sure you like them and respect them too, why wouldn't you? And as you can see, my channel's not growing very fast because I'm just cogged over. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm just gonna keep doing what I do and hopefully one day we'll see what's really going on. They're having a conniption they are. And what did I say when I was doing the other day? I'm creeping I am. But you missed it. They're doing a whole bunch of head shaking. And I'll keep an eye on them, see if I can maybe give another angle a dangle. Do you ever look at yourself in the mirror and think to yourself, God, I look semi friggin' disabled. Today I've been doing that lately. I think it's because my glasses are all scratched and cocked over. Don't buy glasses from Walmart, just so you know. They're dicked. I've had these for about six months and they're scratched so bad I can really see out of them. <sighs> What's really going on? Should have a bonfire tonight. It's a pretty nice night out. Should get out the RCs. Should, 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 should. But nope, just cocked over and everything. Should go for a rip on decent. Should have some sex. Should, 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 should. Oh, they got some friends coming, they do, hey? What they don't realize is when they're in the fairgrounds, it's fair play. Troll all I want because you are right there, you are. Yeah, they are. Holy. Singing up the storm. Singing up the storm they are. The kitties out cruising in parents' vehicles. That's what that is over there. God, felt like yesterday I was friggin' 19. Now I'm just an old shithead. There's nothing wrong with being an old shithead, I'll tell you. Being an old shithead got its up and downs, I do. So I have a story for you. I'm gonna come clean with this because I felt pretty bad about it last night, but I want to tell you this. We know there's a whole bunch of shit going on in the world right now with the Cronus, right? You can't do this or that or the other friggin' thing and, you know, everything's this and that and the other thing. But yesterday I opened my mouth and I shouldn't have opened my mouth and I felt so friggin' bad for it. But I'll tell you what happened because I'm honest with you. For one, before I start, I want to send out my condolences to anybody that lost anybody from the Coronas. My heart goes out to you, just so you know before I tell you this story. Because I really didn't mean this to happen. So, I'm in the friggin' grocery store yesterday, and the girl goes to me, would you like me to clean the counter for, before you? I'm like, no, no frig, no, don't worry about it. I work every day. I know how to wash my hands and everything like that, so I'll just hand sanitize when I leave. So, she puts my groceries through, and I say to her, I say, this is cr getting out of hand crazy. We should just, you know, just all start going back. If you're going to get it, you're going to get it. If you're not, you're not. You just got to keep clean. And she says to me, well, I disagree with you. I, I, I've lost a couple people from it. And I'll tell you, Boys, girls, peoples, I've never felt so low and shitty in my life. Felt like a bag of shit. So I come home and thought to myself, well, you can't take back what you said. 
There's no way you can change anything that you say in this world. Once you said it, it's out there. So I'm sitting here and I look at Stace and I say, Stace, I said something to the girl down there and I, I, I'm, I'm really regretting it because I'm not like that. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna take a ride back down there and apologize. So I went down there, I get in the other lineup. They had some flowers sitting there. So I grabbed, they scooped up a little bag of flowers. I bought them. And the she, lady goes, would you like me to wrap them up for you? I'm like, oh no, no, they're not going far. Don't worry about it. Because the girl that I went through originally was just the next hill over. So I got through the till. I turned to her and I said, excuse me, excuse me. She looked at me, I said, these are for you. I apologize for how ignorant and rude I was earlier. Looked like she was happy about it. So I come home and I felt 100% better. So if anybody out there says something that they don't think they shouldn't have said, or they feel guilty about it, just go fix it. Hey, that's the easiest way to get over it, go fix it. You can always fix something that you said. Almost. There's always those times that you can't, especially with an ex-wife or something. I'm just saying, I was able to fix that problem. And I'm glad I did, because then I slept better last night. Friggin' right I did. But anyways, this is what I've been doing today, and I just thought I'd share that little story for you at the end of the video here, because I thought it's a pretty important story. Everybody should do the same thing. We should all love each other. So I, I can admit it when I'm an asshole and when I'm wrong. So hopefully you can too. And hopefully we can all live together in harmony. Remember, don't blame actions on everybody because of some people. Not everybody's the same and people screw up. Some people are just fucked. But for us, we're all normal, aren't we? All you guys that watch me, all my fans, you guys are all normal. Even my dislikers, I like them guys, they're all normal. Friggin' right there, you can't like every video, I understand. I get it, friggin' right I get it. But, try to keep it above 90 anyways, people say. I don't like it in the 80s. But I'm just waiting for a video to upload here, and uh, you can see what you think of that. Like I said, just a little bit of talking on that one and this and that and the other thing, but I'm not going to ruin it for you, so you just watch it and see what you think. But hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am. Keeping safe. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit that notification bell bar button. And until next time, you know what to do for now.